What's up, my boys? Welcome back to... Now, you may notice that some things look a little different, such as Gohan's level and the fact that Krillin is in my party. Basically, I just did the entire intermission section, which is just a bunch of filler stuff, a bunch of, like, fetch quests. <laughs> And unfortunately, I could not keep the footage because the game audio didn't record for some reason. Shout out to OBS for fucking up all the time whenever I need to record something. I just decided to not re-record that stuff. Like, I could have done it, but honestly, I didn't really feel like doing it because it took like an hour to do all the intermission stuff and I kind of just want to move on to the actual story. So, are you sure you want to continue the story? Your party will be disbanded. Oh, I, I think that means like... No, just to disband a party with Krillin. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. Yep. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Kami and Piccolo are gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. Yep, we're using this shitty ship that uh, Mr. Popo found. Bulma manages to make it work. Oh, is this the introdu introduction to the new saga? I'm ready for this. Oh man, I already know this is gonna be epic. Evil Emperor Frieza. Hell yeah. The first arc was so good, I'm so ready for the Namek Saga. Hello? Oh! Uh, hi Bulma! Gohan, is that you? Oh, perfect. You're just the person I wanted to talk to. So listen, it's about the spaceship. The... the spaceship? Uh, are you sure you want to talk to me about that? Yep. If you've got some time, do you think you could meet me here at Capsule Core in West City? Sure. Oh, sure, I'll be there soon. I've been there uh, many times during the intermission. There's actually a lot to do in the open world. I actually kind of like free roaming in this game. I guess I'd better head to Capsule Corporation to find out. All right. Holding out for hope on Planet Namek. Planet Namek really is our only hope Maybe. left. <laughs> Maybe the spaceship's ready for takeoff. She wanted to talk to me specifically. I'm not sure I'll be of much help, though. Wait, Ox King has a side quest already? Hold on, I thought I was done with all the side quests. <laughs> so apparently after the intermission, there's a total of four side quests that you're able to do, and unfortunately, knowing the inner completionist inside me, I just had to do all of them. So the first side quest is actually pretty simple. Ox King notices that something is wrong with Chi Chi and wants us to go talk to her. So we go talk to Chi Chi and we learn that Chi Chi is actually worried about Gohan and him going over to Namek even though they haven't really had much time to spend together. Chi Chi wants to make a meal for Gohan but unfortunately we learn that they're actually low on food for right now. So Gohan goes over to the Ox King to go tell him what's going on with Chi Chi and we make this plan to go gather food so that Chi Chi can go make a meal for Gohan. I realize I said go a lot in that sentence. So because I did so much free roaming during the intermission section, I actually had all of the ingredients before I even started this quest, so that made things a lot easier. So after gathering all the ingredients, we hand them over to Chi Chi so she can make Gohan a meal. During this meal that they have, Gohan and Chi Chi actually have this touching interaction where it kind of feels like a realistic parent and child interaction where Chi Chi is very concerned about Gohan and him staying safe when he goes to Namek and Gohan says like oh I'll be fine but then Chi Chi keeps saying you know you got to be careful out there also I won't be able to cook for you when you're out there and I know it's not really that much but I, I thought it was kind of touching because we don't really see the side of Dragon Ball that much since the show is so action heavy and you know you're mostly focused on the fighting so having an interaction like this every now and then is always kind of nice and wholesome. So after completing that interaction, we move on to the next side quest, which has to do with Oolong. And in this side quest, Oolong mentions that he saw Yamcha's ghost running around town, which is obviously kind of weird because Yamcha's supposed to be dead. But after searching around West City, we actually notice that Yamcha is alive and is talking to a bunch of other girls around town for some reason. Apparently he's going on dates with all these girls. I don't know how he manages that shit. That's honestly kind of crazy. I didn't realize Yamcha was this much of a player. But eventually we run into a man who is jealous of Yamcha taking his ex and he 
brings out some robots out of his pocket, which I don't know how he did that. I guess everybody has capsules in this city. But we learned that for some reason Yamcha can't defend himself and we have to jump in to defeat these robots. After defeating these robots, we learned that Yamcha is not actually Yamcha, and it was actually Poir who was disguised as Yamcha. So we learned that Poir wanted to disguise as Yamcha to fix his reputation with these girls for when he comes back to life. And in the middle of our conversation, Krillin has a message for Poir that was from Yamcha before he died. Basically, all that Yamcha wanted was Poir to live a happy life without him, and not worry about his reputation with all these random girls. He ends up being kind of wholesome, but at the end he mentions that he wants his reputation to be fixed with two girls named Pearl and Sapphire, so it was kind of wholesome, but also kind of bittersweet. Which also kind of describes his next side quest, which is for Turtle on Master Roshi's Island. Turtle wants us to gather food for Master Roshi because they're also short on food. I don't know what's going on with the food supply. I don't know why everything's so scarce. But just like the first Ox King side quest, we already gathered most of the ingredients, but unfortunately there is one ingredient that was a pain in the ass to get, which is a special royal tomato that Master Roshi only gets from the specific farmer. And unfortunately, having Having to get this royal tomato was a pain in the ass because this farmer that he specifically gets this from wants us to gather 10 great energetic fish which I don't know why he wants 10 specific fish, but okay. It ends up taking me a very long time to collect these because for some reason you can't just fish up these great generic fish and I had to like keep flying into the same water spot every time. It was so annoying and tedious to get. But eventually we do get it and we get the royal tomato and we deliver all the ingredients back to Kame House. And eventually Roshi comes into the house and notices that we gathered all this food and wants to throw another party that also includes Krillin and Bulma. We end up eating all of our food that we just gathered which is kind of unfortunate because that royal tomato took me so damn long to collect. But Roshi eventually reveals he actually had food this entire time. It was just in his capsule that he bought from West City. So yeah, it turns out food wasn't really an issue. But we did have a nice time at the party, I guess. Now here we are at the final side quest at this part of the game, and it actually takes place at Kami House as well. It's actually right next to Turtle side quest. And it has to do with Krillin, and he's reading a porn mag out here for some reason. After getting caught jerking off to a porn mag, Krillin suggests that him and Gohan should do some image training together. So Krillin and Gohan sit down together to do some image training, but for some reason before they can do some image training together, Gohan imagines another bald man, who honestly kind of scared the shit out of me when I first saw him. Oh! So yeah, we ended up finding an imaginary Nappa inside our minds who was actually kind of easy to fight. And then afterwards, we actually sparred with Krillin in our minds, and we defeated him, and Krillin wanted to go another round afterwards, but all he could imagine was some girl that he saw in the porn mag, so yeah, our training had to end there. So yeah, that's basically all the side quests that we had in this area. Or is it? So as the great Billy Mays would say, but wait, there's more. For some reason, they made a main story quest, another fetch quest that we had to do for Bulma, which is scavenging for materials for the spaceship that we're going to use to go to Namek. This quest isn't anything too special, it's just like all the other fetch quests that we've done, and after collecting all the materials, we give them to Bulma, and yeah, that is basically it for the fetch quest, and now yep. we can finally head it's over to now. Namek. We can actually move on the with the story, bro. Complete and ready for takeoff. Let's go. All right, Gohan. Just let me know when you're ready to launch. Ha! <laughs> launch. We won't be back on Earth. I actually met her soon, during the intermission. So make sure you've got everything you need. R right. I think I got everything I need. I spent a shitload of time preparing. All right. Any side quests? Anything? Doesn't look like it. I think we're all ready to head off to Namek. So let's so, do it. You all set for the trip? Yep. All set. Okay, I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. All right. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. Let's go. Oh, nice, Max P. Oh, nice. A good level up for Gohan before we head off to Namek. And our little Gohan growing up. With their preparations for the journey to planet Namek complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the oh no, on? bowl cut Gohan, I forgot about this. Oh, well if it isn't Mo Howard. How do you even... Space Hulu. Figures. All I'm saying is, Goku gives better haircuts than Chi Chi. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you found those Dragon Balls. Yep. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Oh wait, they Bye, didn't give, um... They didn't... Bye, Master Roshi. They didn't give, uh, Gohan his, like, uh, little outfit that he went with to Namek. 
How can he write you if he's out in space? Alright, here we go. We're heading to Namek. Are we gonna run into like fake Namek? Meanwhile, like filler just sagas? as Bulma oh. and the others left for planet Namek, it's Vegeta. Vegeta, back and fully recovered oui. from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet oh, Namek image. with his most elite subordinates in tow. Elite subordinates? What? Zarbon? A pool? A pool? Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those dragon balls are mine! Those balls are mine. Give me your balls. Pause. Meanwhile, 34 oh, days after Bulma and the others 34 left days, Earth, damn. Over a month. They finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. All right, here we are. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. What, just like giant mountains? That kind of sounds like every place on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! Oh, great. You're right! This could be really easy, right, guys? <laughs> Woohoo! Alright! <laughs> Alright! We found we one! Found we one. Found one. Huh? Oh, no. Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're oh, not shit. kidding! Here we go. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh... What's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Yeah, that means somebody is is collecting all of them themselves. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid uh, of. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> is Vegeta Space Pod gonna pop up now? <laughs> Oh, here it is. Wait, I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. Yep. It's a Saiyan spaceship! It's Vegeta! I knew it! Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. Yeah. Okay. It's Vegeta. Stealth mode, Looks activate. Like it's just him. Oh, man. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza! Wait, am I gonna be able to play as Vegeta? Oh, that's gonna be fucking sick. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? It, Wait, yeah. doesn't Bulma stay here, though? Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. All right. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Wait, no, I remember their ship gets blown up, right? Uh, right. So they two actually months. get stranded over here. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, well, who's that? One? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? Oh shit. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. Planet Namek's getting invaded. This ain't gonna be as easy as we originally thought. Oh shit, here we go. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my Galactic grasp. Emperor Frieza. <laughs> Hi, I'm Space Napoleon Hitler. Hello, I'm Space Napoleon Hitler. Give me the thing. No. Give me the thing. No. Kill his kid. <laughs> Give me the thing. Here. Good. Kill him. But the thing! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. Large power sources? I'll make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. 
Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Oh yeah, how's that gonna go? They are roughly equal in power, I believe. Stop the cap! <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you. All right. So what's the plan, right. boys? Make sure to let Goku and the others know. And girl. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. No, we're gonna get attacked. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Krillin, <gasps> someone's coming. Oh, here we go. Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No, it's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. Well, you want to? Well, you want to? No, because I, I have the most uh, respect. Oh, uh, those fighting words. That should be right around. Oh, here we go. The Frieza Force. Who the, the fuck, fuck are these guys? Guy? Look at that dude's haircut. Rose got serious bedhead. Namekians. They don't look like Namekians. Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke. They're nothing but trash. Oh, here we I go. I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Taurus. Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Yep. There goes our spaceship. No. Well. That starship. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Yep. Here goes. Let's do it. Right. Let's throw hands. I I did a shitload of training with Krillin. Let's go. Uh, Krillin, solar flare. And not now, y'all are done. Now you're all done. All right, you're dead. You're dead. And yep, there you go. <laughs> Easy. Shouldn't have given me Krillin, bro. His solar flare is way too OP. Hey! Nice going, Gohan! Nice going? There's nothing nice about this! <laughs> yep. Now Bulma has to deal with all this shit now. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. Mm. They raised their power levels almost instantly and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. Damn, I didn't realize they had that much insight on us now. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. I honestly love how the whole Namek saga in the beginning before Goku arrived was basically like a stealth mission. I kind of like that. It really built suspense in the entire saga. Correct, my lord. As everyone's it trying to avoid the freeze of force. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. Yeah, those scouters ain't shit, bro. You, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. Yeah, let's see how that's gonna happen. Oh, here we go. Let me play as Vegeta, please. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Oh, here we go. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. Oh, yeah. What, what's your power you level? see, my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> what is it, like 18,000? I ain't shade to Vegeta. No point in waiting for his attack. I'll just hunt him down and blow him to bits. Hmm? There's a Frieza spaceship in the well distance. Now. That's Frieza's ship. <laughs> <laughs> it really is my lucky day. Not only do I get to rip Kui limb from limb, but I get to scrap Frieza's ship too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I get to play as Vegeta! Yo! Find Queen and put him in his place. Hold on. Whoa! What is this? Enemy base? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check this shit out. Sure, are there fucking Frieza soldiers around? Oh! Whoops. See how Vegeta fares. Oh, here we go. Oh wow, these guys are way too easy. <laughs> oh wow, okay, so these literally are just the muscle tower bases. But on Namek. Let's go, bitch. You're talking shit about me on the scouter? <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? 
<laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. Oh, have I? You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. Yeah, it's called controlling my power. <laughs> like what? How to run away? What do you mean run away? I, I literally just came hunting you down. Like how to control my power level. Yeah, let's go. Damn, bro, shaking the planet. No way. 90, 20, 21, 22,000. <laughs> also, I realize I'm kind of disappointed that the it's over 9,000 line didn't make it into the Saiyan Saga. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I just didn't notice it. All right, Kui. You got what you asked for. Oh, damn. Well, this must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. That shit's just gonna blow up. Watch this. Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! Kobe! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? Damn, bro's gonna <laughs> blow up the entire planet. <laughs> Die! Let's go! You pissed me off, bro! It's time to see some dirty fireworks. Oh, we got this move, okay. Wait, how did I dodge that? What the fuck? Oh, which one's Gallic Gun? This one? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Gallic Gun! Let's go! Oh my god, bro. You can't, you can't touch this. Okay, never mind. He is touching this. I want to see what Body Smash is. Ooh! Oh, what? Okay. They kind of just awkwardly stared at each other. Let's just finish this. Get out of here, Queef! I'll show you some dirty fireworks. Damn, that's a lot of XP. Holy shit! And I didn't even level up off of that. Wow. You're not going anywhere. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh! Oh, that's so brutal. Dirty fireworks. Here it is. I was waiting for that. Vegeta's power level from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real! No, I shouldn't have fucked with oh, the Mamba. I don't believe it! He just took out Kui! I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Yo, Fr Freeze has got respect for Vegeta? Not to mention No, he hates foolish. him, but he's still got a respect. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying you. Oh, there's Lord this Frieza. guy. The scouter shows there are about ten Fucking dildo head over here. <laughs> Fucking mini third form Frieza over here. <laughs> the fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them. They got visit. four of them? Damn. I I hate to say it, but that's it. We're screwed. There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now. Bulma? Poor Bulma. Let's, let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. Yeah. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. Oh yeah, out. I remember the cave. Didn't they have like a I'm, little I'm place sure the prepared Namekians for them? can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. <laughs> All right. You cannot fa fly or fire key blast while moving. What? We actually have to stay under the radar. All right. So, I'm gonna leave it off here. Um, I think this is a good place to stop. We finally arrived on Namek. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking awesome, I can tell already. That that Dirty Fireworks cutscene already looked pretty good, so I can't wait to see what uh, the Frieza fights are gonna be like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.